Well, the stock market absolutely sucked today. Did Lael Brainerd and the Fed just rug pull all of us? Rug pull the entire stock market? She had some words to say at a conference in Minnesota today. I'm going to go over those with you right now and tell you what I think you can expect in the coming weeks and the rest of this month. Let's get right into it. Now, Lael Brainerd is mostly known as being very dovish on Fed policy. But today, she had a wake-up call for Wall Street with a little bit more hawkish approach in her words. Ms. Brainerd said today that she expects a combination of interest rate increases and a rapid balance sheet runoff to bring U.S. monetary policy to a more neutral position later this year, with further tightening to follow as needed. Now, that might not be much of a surprise to you. We knew that interest rates were going to go up, and we knew that quantitative tightening was going to happen because the Fed needs to do something about the balance sheet being so bloated. But coming out of a dovish Federal Reserve governor like Lael Brainerd, this was kind of a wake-up call to the market today. Although not really a wake-up call to me or to you, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know that interest rates are coming and you know that serious action needs to be done to fix the Fed's balance sheet and that quantitative tightening is an absolute necessity to get inflation under control. What do you need to know about this week? Well, tomorrow I don't have great news. The Fed meeting minutes from the March meeting are going to be released tomorrow, April 6th, Wednesday, during the market hours. And you can expect that once those meeting minutes are released and absorbed and read by Wall Street and the algos and the computers, there's going to be quite likely a serious reaction in the market tomorrow. Quite likely to the downside if the meeting minutes, as I expect, follow in line with what Lael Brainerd had to say today. Recently, Fed Chair Jerome Powell has said that he believes the Fed can manage a soft landing where the central bank raises borrowing costs enough to slow the economy and bring inflation down, but not enough to send unemployment surging or push the economy into recession. Economists, including myself, say that will be difficult, if not impossible. Since 1955, there has never been a time when wage growth exceeded 5% and the unemployment rate was below 5% that was not followed within two years by a recession. Now, those Fed meeting minutes for March are coming out tomorrow. The next actual Fed meeting where they talk about interest rates and make a decision on quantitative tightening will occur in May, actually on May 4th. We're looking at inflation rates right now pushing upwards of 8%, the highest in recent 25 years. And the Fed needs to take serious action to turn this around. So you can expect interest rate hikes and quantitative tightening. That is going to happen this year and it's going to affect the stock market. You also hear about the inversion of the yield curve, another recessionary signal that traders in both the bond and stock market are keeping a close eye on because that yield curve keeps on showing dangerous signs of doing a complete inversion. And that is something that I'm keeping an eye on for you every day. I'll talk about that in an upcoming video. So now that I've talked about what happened today, what's coming up tomorrow with the Fed meeting minutes, the next Fed meeting on May 4th, what should you do as far as trading this week, the rest of this month, the rest of this year, what should you expect on your favorite stocks? Well, I'm going to continue with my own trading style of playing it very cautious. That does not mean I won't be swing trading some plays. That does not mean I won't be day trading some plays. That does not mean I won't be trading some options, but I will be taking profits as soon as I have them. In this type of market, just like we've seen every month so far in 2022, one day can be up and the next day can be down. Do not get overconfident in your predictions, your chart analysis. Don't expect that the market's going to crash. Don't expect that your favorite stock is going to run up 300% by the end of this week. Be patient and trade smart. Take profits along the way as you get them. That is how you survive and make money in a topsy-turvy market like we have going on in 2022. And yes, I expect that this entire year is going to be 
an entire mess. I am Tony DeNaro. I will see you tomorrow when the market opens and also in power hour for the market close. If you've got a question about interest rates of the Fed, drop it in this video. Otherwise, I will see you with your questions tomorrow on the live streams. Don't forget to buy and hold that subscribe button and I will see you on the next video. So you